How about those Panthers? They come through in the clutch and beat the Saints 10-7, to which makes me extraordinarily happy. Um, as I recall, I think it was that game against the Saints. Maybe it was the Falcons where we uh, had the helmet removal at the end of the game. Kind of the crazy situation. That was actually the Falcons now that I'm thinking about it. I think. I'll double check on that. But anyway... Great win today, um, and I think more than anything, the biggest takeaway here, because the postseason obviously is not a consideration for us at this point, um, and it's a good way to end the season, but I think the biggest consideration is that this sort of cements, to me, Steve Wilkes showing that he has the chops to run this team, to sort of lead this team, and the players have said it consistently since he came in after Matt Rule was fired, um, that he they feel like he's the guy. They feel like he's created a good culture here. I think the way this game was sort of going you know, as a longtime Panthers fan who has seen a lot of these games play out in crazy ways, uh, I sort of expected the Saints to get the ball, drive down, kick a game-winning field goal, and that be it. And that certainly felt like that's kind of where we were headed with this. But then some good plays here and there by the Panthers got them in the position to win, and our field goal kicker came through in the clutch, which is awesome. Um, a lot of the football teams that I'm a big fan of, you know, sometimes have kicking issues, but that was not the case today, which was awesome. However, for the Saints, their field goal attempt to try and get uh, up by three points closer to the end of the game was horrendous. Like, I don't recall if the ball was tipped or whatever, but that was not a good look for them kicking-wise. But anyway, the Panthers managed to pull this out, but it was a game not without its issues, right? Um Darnold threw a pick later in the game, and he also had uh, a situation where he had another bad snap. That happened the last game against Tampa Bay, and that cost us in that game. I think that really made a big difference in that that matchup. But it happened here again, and it felt like sort of a, you know, it wasn't quite a comedy of errors, but it felt like it was trending in that direction. Thankfully, that did not come to fruition, and the Panthers managed to hang on and win. Um, so they finished the season 7-9, and nine, I believe it is, 7-9. and nine. Let me just double-check, make sure I've got the score or the record rather correct. 7-10, uh, and 7-10, my bad, 7-10. and 10. So um, they finished with the same record, actually, uh, overall as the Saints. The Saints went 4-5 and five at home. We went 2-6 and six away with our away matchups. But, you know, despite some of the issues that happened during this game, despite how sloppy uh, some of the things looked at times, they managed to find a way to win. Wilkes' teams have done that, I think, um, since he's taken over. You know, it's been kind of an up-and-down season overall for the Panthers, obviously, just given the release of one coach, bringing in another, uh, losing McCaffrey, going among a lot of different quarterbacks. But, you know, I don't... After that Tampa Bay game, it felt like Donald was doing a lot better. This game was not as good for him, but in the end, he did manage to find a way to pull it out. So, I don't know that I'm ready to say 100% that he's going to be the guy going forward, but you at least got to feel good as a Panthers fan that they have someone who feels like he's getting things figured out, that feels like he could be a solid option if for some reason our draft picks don't work out or if for some reason uh, trades aren't happening that, that people are hoping for, you know, whatever could be happening in the offseason. But anyway, great end for the Panthers. It makes me feel a little bit better, I guess, that we were able to knock off a division rival. So I think I'm going to do kind of a, a holistic you know, season recap and reflection video after a week or two passes, after I've got some time to sort of digest this. But I just wanted to get my thoughts uh, out there in terms of beating the Saints. So uh, I'm happy with the win. I hope you are too. If you're a Panthers fan, let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you're a Saints fan, I'm sorry <laughs> that we had to do this to you at the end of the season, but uh, I'd love to hear from you as well. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll touch base again soon.